Hello, this is Ashi from Crafting with Ashi, and welcome to this video. This is the little card we're going to be making today. As you may know, this is the most wonderful time of the Stampin' Up here. It's celebration. Now, in celebration, for every um, forty-five pound order you spend, um, you put in, you can choose a free item from the celebration catalog. So, the stamp set that we're going to be using today called Lovely Lily Pad is one of the free items from the Celebration Catalog okay and it's a double sided stamp so if you use the one side of the stamp you get this image and then if you use the back side you get the this one here so this is one of the free items nearly everything I'm going to be using today is a free item from Celebration so let's get started put that aside and supplies you're going to need so I've got some scrap whisper white here and then I've got my card base, which is thick whisper white, and this is a standard A6 card base. So that's an A4 sheet cut in half and then folded in half. Then I've got some of this designer series paper here, and this measures 14.35 centimeters by 10 centimeters. And this is the Lily paper, and this is also another free item in the celebration catalog. And then I've got um, some here, some pretty peacock cardstock. Uh, this measures seven centimeters by eight centimeters and then some whisper white that's seven and a half by eight and a half centimeters so i'm going to set that aside and i'm going to bring back my here my um scrap piece of whisper white i'm going to do some stamping so i'm going to be stamping with a memento because i want to color my lily in using the stamp and blends alcohol markers so i'm just going to um try and get this inked up now, as i've said many a time i need to read my pad but yeah i still haven't got round to it but there you go so down hold for a little while up lovely so put that aside and then i need a couple of leaves i did do too many leaves when i did my original so i've got two already so I just need to stamp two more but you'll need to stamp four leaves so let's do that so one two three four oh, that's a bit close to it There we go, that's enough there to choose from. Okay, so put that aside. Put that there. <coughs> now we're going to do some colouring in, as I said. Whoops, just set my mat all skew. And I'm going to be using the stamp and blends, as I said. I'm going to be using Floody Flamingo and I'm going to be using Mossy Meadow. So, as always with colouring take your time I start off with the lighter colour and then bring in the the darker for blending so I'm just going to zoom you in a bit so you can see better what I'm doing and I'm also going to put you on fast forward for this so I'm going to colour this in and then I'll catch you at the end So there I've coloured in two leaves and I've coloured in my lily. So now I'm going to cut it out using the matching dies and these are the lily pad dies 
and this is a free celebration item again but this is one of the level two ones so to get these dies free you need to have a 90 pound order so i'm just going to cut out the lily but you can see here you get quite a few dies so i'm going to use that one to cut the lily out and then that one for the leaves so i'm just going to put that through the big shot and i'll be back okay so we've got everything cut out as you can see so i'm just going to put those aside now and bring back the rest of our bits and pieces so firstly i'm going to stick down our um, designer series paper so i'm going to put some snail here on the back now before i actually stick it down i'm going to add my ribbon and i'll tell you what ribbon this is in a second once i've cut a bit off and this is the whisper white uh, crinkled seam binding ribbon okay so make sure you have your designer series paper the right way up as i was about to put it the wrong way which is never going to be useful that looks okay yeah that'll do stick it down okay Ugh, what's wrong with me today nothing is wanting to go on straight it's a mixed up day okay there we go now where's our other bits so we're going to stick this piece our pretty peacock piece to our whisper white try and get that sort of yeah for today it'll do <laughs> straight and then i'm going to use some dimensionals to pop it up on the back and i'm getting towards the end of these so you want to use all of your dimensionals so don't waste any these edges are perfect for this so let's we need quite a bit because it is a big piece to pop up but it's the only thing that's going to be popped up so we need to get it all the way around so there's a bit there it looks a bit weird on the back it doesn't matter no one's going to see it there we go i think a bit one last piece as you know i'm quite generous with my dimensionals i like there to be a lot of dimension i don't want it to sag in the middle so that will do now i'm going to get all these backs off that's the only good thing about it being the back of the um the ends of the dimensionals is that it all comes off in one long piece so you're not taking off tons of little backs so make sure you get this the right way around and sort of center it between your two your two um thing just ribbons <laughs> okay let's get rid of all of these pieces first before they take on a life of their own and bring back our lily pads so now i'm going to use some tombow just to stick this down okay and that's because it can get into all the fine points of the lily pad that's why i'm using tombow and also gives you a little bit of a wriggle room and then i'm going to start to just put our leaves in so i'm going to put one here and this is the other thing that allows you to tuck because it doesn't dry straight away so that's always useful ah come out tombo okay and then another one on this side somewhere like that and then these last two okay so we put one there and this last one okay. 
I'm gonna stick. Uh, where am I gonna put it? Yeah, I'm gonna put it in there again. Yes. I'm gonna lift it up a bit so that I can put it in. So that's all we have so far. Okay, nearly finished. I'm gonna use some rhinestones now just to accent it. So I'll get my pokey tool and I'm gonna use these three here because this one's already jumped off at me. Huh? Huh? Okay. So there we go. Those are the two cards. Not too bad. As I said, you know, <clears throat> this is a celebration. So if you want to know anything more, more about it, just drop me a line. Um, if you want a copy of the current um, spring summer catalogue and the celebration catalogue, just jump onto my website and click on the contact me button and request a catalogue. And I'll get one to you, up to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. If you want any information about the, the actual project, sizes, dimensions, supply list, etc., it'll be on the blog post, and that's on my website as well. And all the links to my website, my social media links, etc., are in the description box below. So thank you again. Until next time, enjoy being creative. Bye.